Hi there, thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKenna with the WBZ News Update. Randolph firefighters are on the scene of a house fire. This is on Amelian Road. Real estate records show this is a single family house. You can see the smoke billowing from the roof from this video. So far, no word on what caused that fire. A hazmat scare at the Stoughton Police Department. Officers say a man got sick after he brought a substance into the station. The man told police he found a substance on a relative and was concerned. The hazmat team determined it was a household product that can cause skin and eye irritation, but it is not hazardous. Two Lynn families were displaced after a fire broke out yesterday on Haunt Street. No one was injured in the fire. The Red Cross is now helping the families who lost their homes. The cause of that fire remains under investigation today. Now let's check in with meteorologist Pamela Gardner. Can't believe we're talking about snow on April 2nd, Pamela. Good news is, Chris, it's all moving out later this afternoon. Temperatures will soar back into the low 40s, and we have just a very subtle breeze out there. Anything that accumulated will melt. However, that could make for some slick roads. Patchy black ice. Temperatures will be right around freezing overnight. High, thin clouds move back in, and we keep it dry for the first part of Tuesday. There's a chance for rain late afternoon, early evening. Wednesday, 65 degrees, and it gets a little breezy. But that wind from the south and west helping to boost those temps. Chance for scattered rain and an evening thunderstorm. And then we cool things off down to 44 degrees for the Sox home opener on Thursday. Chris? All right, Pamela, thank you very much. And thanks for checking in with us. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.